Hey there, my name is John Roderick. I'm Vice President of New Business and Product Development. I'm going to walk you around the Gen 16 line. We've created a website that tracks drummers' performance and then pulls it down into MIDI files, which people can then come, if you take a look over here, they can then download the MIDI files by groove, by type, by time signature, beats per minute, or even by search. If you want to type in Bruce Springsteen, you'll get drummers that play in grooves like Bruce Springsteen. Um, what's interesting about this is it's the first time that we know of that a, a major company has reached out to their endorsee base and asked them to participate in uh, almost like, I hate to say it, but like an iTunes for Beats where they can, the artists can make money. Uh, we make a little money to keep it going, but that's not really what we're doing it for. We're really doing it to reach um, outside the music community of drummers to composers and producers and singer-songwriters and that kind of stuff, yet bring our drumming community, the 4,000 plus endorsees that we have, to those people around the world. And uh, so far, so good. One of the um, comments that I got from Mike White, a great uh, you know, studio drummer here in LA, was, uh, you know, I'm seeing my downloads come in from China and from uh, the Ukraine and places that I never knew and, and never thought that people would know my name. And they're picking me because of my groove, not so much my name. And that's, and that's cool. So we, along with that, we have the, um, the Groove Player app, which allows you to load in grooves from the artist and then play them back on this device and then edit and manage them from here and mix stereo and all the voices. Once done or in the process, you can also sequence additional beats on top of those beats that you bring in or create your new ones and then upload it somewhere where you want to either store it or you want to share it with somebody else. So if you're stuck on an airplane or a train or something like that, you can get that done. It also has a full voice cymbal files that you could play a drum kit on here, but this really isn't a performance device. It's more of a sequencer and a tool for you know, building beats and playing. Another device, uh, well, another product that we have is called the Virtual, the Digital Vault. And this product, again, is really designed more for composers and producers here like um, Shaka Blackman, who uses uh, the Digital Vault and a lot of his compositions and remix where he'll, he can bring in the grooves, he can access Zildjian cymbal sounds, and then, again, totally integrate them into Cubase or Pro Tools or anything that uh, he's using at the time, giving uh, much more reality to the cymbal sound. As one uh, of my film composer buddies said, uh, when he went to an executive producer, her response was, it just sounds shimmery. And I think it's because of the, the quality of the digital files that we recorded and the fact that uh, the Zildjian family allowed us to take the reference symbols from the symbol vault and bring them to a recording studio and take the time to do them right. So we record them in a way where we use sticks, brushes, mallets, rods, um, different parts, bow, edge, bell, uh, different, uh, over 140 dynamic levels depending on the symbol. And we have also now have a, a full array of orchestral cymbals and field cymbals. And uh, Neil Grover has been kind enough to also uh, let us take his uh, handmade cherished triangles and castanets and tambourines and all that stuff. So we recorded those as well. Those will be coming out later this year. So this is the virtual products from Gen 16.